first you have Psycho. Psycho 2, Psycho 3, Psycho 4, The Beginning, and The Psycho Remake. This review is going to be on the starring Anthony Perkins and Jeff Fahey and Diana Scarwood, Psycho 3, a universal release. Psycho 3 is about Norman Bates. It, it's a, it starts with this girl killing one of the nuns and she leaves the chapel. And on the way, she hijacks. Uh, no, not hijacks. She hitches. <laughs> hijacks. Hitch. She hitches a ride back to um. And um, the guy rapes her, and so and then that guy kicks her out. And then he gets a job at the Bates Motel because Norman signed him up. Then the girl that he raped checks in and you know then her and Norman kind of like fall in love and you know and it just gets weird from there Psycho 3 was of course a sequel to Psycho 2 Psycho 2 being the best one in the series in my opinion um Psycho 3 was okay I guess it is too much like the original in my opinion Opinion. It was just a remake of the original, except in color. Because Anthony Perkins directed this, and this was the last Psycho movie that to be released theatrically since Psycho 4 The Beginning was released for television. You know, Norman Bates was... Uh, Anthony Perkins was originally going to shoot this movie in black and white to keep it like the original, but Universal didn't allow it for some reason some good kills in this. It's a single layer disc. This has got to be the goriest in the series, though, in my opinion. That's probably not a uh, good thing for the Psycho series, since the first Psycho is really low budget. The only low budget ones were Psycho 1 and Psycho 4. 2 and 3 were gory. Mm -hmm. That's how, you know, they were just bloody like my next review is going to be Saturday Night Live, the best of Chris Farley.